Hi there, it's Cheryl there. I thought I'd do another video. I've just basically stepped out of um, the kids' party that I've been invited to. And I thought while I was thinking about um, kids and being at the party, I was going to answer a question that I've had. Um, more recently, one of the questions I've been given is um, how do I go about um, CRB uh, my staff team? Um, if you don't know what a CRB is, um, it's a criminal records check. Um, which is now known as a disclosing and barring um, service, right? So when I was setting up my um, team members for my community projects, I actually used an umbrella company. This is a disclaimer, I'm not saying that you should use this particular one, but in Birmingham, there's an organisation who is a charity called St Paul's Development Centre. I'll post the links, links below. Um, they actually provide this service. Um, you, you pay them a small fee, and they do all the administration for you. For your volunteers, you pay a very very minimal fee, but for paid members of staff to get enhanced checks, um, you pay um, you pay pay for that service, and they invoice you, or you can pay for it when you actually um, undertake that check. Um, another organisation um, that does that as well is called um, BAYC, which stands for Birmingham Association of Youth, Youth Clubs. You can join. Uh, you can join for a small fee to be a, a fiat, and you can actually um, do your own um, CRB checks for your team members. Um, so that's today's tip. If you actually want to um, run your own social enterprise, which is known as a not-for-profit um, organisation, to get your team members' background checked, check out St Paul's Development Centre or Birmingham Association for Youth Clubs. If you don't live in that area, you can actually just Google umbrella companies and they can actually provide that service. Anyway, i also put the link down below as well for disclosure and barring service as well, if you need any more information. Take care people and I'm out.